So let's get started. I already stretched one side of my hair. I'm gonna stretch the other side. This is an old wash and go. I'm gonna be taking my q redo and if you don't know what that is, it's a handheld steamer. So I'm going to run that through my hair. With this steam, it's gonna actually add moisture and also stretch out my hair, which is what I want for this perm rod set. And how it kind of works, it's kind of like a heatless blowout. So I'm taking the steam, stretching out my hair, and then I will take a wide tooth comb and comb it out just gently, not too much, because the steam has already done that, and make sure it's all stretched out. These are other ways you can stretch out your hair. Now my hair is all stretched out. I already went and did one side of my hair with perm rods. Now I'm gonna show you how I do the other side. I section my hair into two. You can section it however you'd like. And now I'm going to take small to medium sections to roll the perm rod. As my base, I'm gonna be using the Intense Hydration Potion from Fortified Naturals. I'm gonna apply that to my hair from roots to end. And then I'm gonna run my Denman brush through to make sure that there's no tangles and all the product is in. As my styling product, I'll be using the curling jelly from As I Am, and I'm gonna apply that to my hair and I'm ready to roll. So here, I'm just gonna make sure my ends go on smoothly to the rod, then I'm gonna roll and then twist, roll and then twist my hair towards my root, secure it in place, and then I'm gonna repeat this process to the rest of my hair. So I get this question a lot on how I secure my perm rod nice and tight at the root. So there's two indents on the perm rod. You wanna go to the one closer to the root, not the one further from the root. So here, I went further from the root, leaving the perm rod and the roots loose. Now I secured it closer to the root, leaving the perm rod nice and tight at the roots. And now that you have your perm rod set nice and complete, you can let your hair dry overnight throughout the day or you could sit under a dryer to speed up the process. I'm gonna let my hair dry overnight, so I'm gonna take my bonnet to make sure that I don't cause any extra frizz while I sleep. So it's the next day, my hair is completely dry. Before taking down your rods, you wanna make sure your hair is completely dry or you're gonna deal with frizz and you'll get less curl definition that you're trying to achieve with this perm rod set. So I'm just gonna unravel my rods and then after that I'm going to separate my curls and then give this look some volume. And that is it guys, I'm loving the bounce, the body, the volume, everything about this perm rod set. I'm in love. So I'm gonna leave all info down in the description box so if you think you missed anything, it'll probably be down there. Thanks for watching, I'll see you next time.